So aside from getting wound up over dojos for the last seven months, I've been working on something pretty big for the channel. It's something which has been eating at me to not talk about, but it's just not been ready. It's not been anywhere near polished enough to show, but we're, we're very close. We're so close to the finish line that I think I can give a sneak preview now of a couple of things. And just if it gets you a little bit excited about this, to the just even remotely as excited as I am, then that's, that's a good thing. So over the last seven months, I've been working in collaboration with Kadak Group in Holland, who are an Autodesk Platinum reseller. They've got a team of developers, genius developers. And we've been working on creating a new, built from the ground up, TFI branded Autodesk Inventor Workstation Benchmark Test. And this is 100% designed by me. Every single test, every single function, everything from start through to finish, even the layout, the user interface, every score, every, uh, or even the algorithm, everything is designed by myself. Before I started this, uh, I had a vision in my mind of what I wanted the perfect benchmark test to be with the product knowledge that I've got and the extensive involvement that I've had in workstation uh, testing and recommendations and building and within the inventor space, I had that vision of what the perfect benchmark test would be, what modules should be tested with an inventor on a workstation just to get a, a broad idea of, of, of where that workstation's at, at, at performing on inventor. And Kala Group have done an amazing job of taking that vision that I had and making it a reality because aside from a couple of limitations that we just simply couldn't do purely because of Inventor not having an API for it and maybe a few bugs here or there, they've taken my vision and made it a reality. We have, we've compromised almost nowhere. Every test that I, I wanted to do, we've done it. We've had to make a couple of tweaks here and there as a result of those limitations, but every test, we've got it. And I'm so excited for this to be finished. So credit massively to the developer who I've been working with over the last seven months. I haven't told him that I'm doing this video, so I don't really want to give his name out because I don't know if he's comfortable with that. I'll wait until the final video when we go live with this for real and then maybe talk about it then. But yeah, there's still, there's still a fair bit of work to do. I'm even still adding tests to it to this day. So that's, we're still, you know, there's still work to be done, but yeah. So what you're seeing on screen is a, a very early beta version of the interface it's not going to look anything like this, but it will run as an add-in, which is a good thing for many reasons that I'll not go into, but it's, it's not going to be a separate executable. It will run as an add-in. Uh, the, the application, uh, the TFI benchmark test, is not going to be backwards compatible, unfortunately, on day one. The reason for that is I have to have, obviously, a bunch of files to test with, and I can't save those as earlier versions. So day one, it'll only run with Inventor 2021, but moving forward, it'll work with 2021 and then 2022 and 2023 and so on. But day one, it will only unfortunately work on 2021. Um, but yeah, this is the add-in UI on the right-hand side. I've got a bunch of ticky boxes that I'm using to test the individual tests. And then at the bottom, I've got a big button, run Invmark. So the name, the test itself is called Invmark. The suite is the TFI CAD bench. Uh, the names, I think, unless, unless CADIC have got any objections, uh, the names are, I think I'm set with the names, but... I've got aspirations of having a suite of tests. Day one will be an inventor test in Vmark. And then later on, I'm kind of wanting to have a Fusion 360 test, an AutoCAD test, a VRED test, Revit test, Maya test, Max test, a whole suite of Autodesk tests. I'd like to branch out of Autodesk and into other applications, but I'm not sure if I've got the product knowledge to go out of the Autodesk ecosystem. But yeah, that's the, that's the idea, is to be a suite of tests, but day one, walk before you can run Invmark Inventor Test. So that button will run all of the tests in sequence, and then at the end of it, you'll get an Invmark score, which is the, I mean, it's it's like the IPI from for Inventor Bench, but it's a different number. It's run, it's a completely different algorithm, and it scores your workstation based on how it performed across all of the tests. 
So that's it really. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a, a, a demonstration of two of my tests. The first one, mate, is a dynamic simulation test. Yeah. Dynamic simulation. So upon starting this, automation kicks in. An assembly will open in the background and then the dynamic simulation output grapher will open up. I have a 200 step dynamic simulation logging dozens of data points over three and a half seconds. And the benchmark test is to time how long the workstation takes to compute that 200 step dynamic simulation with all of those 10 tracers doing their data logging. So on my workstation, which is a 9910900K, it takes roughly uh, roughly 22 seconds to perform the dynamic simulation, but it, it, in total, it's about 26 seconds because there's a whole bunch of other processing going on in there. There's, it, It's got to start the simulation. It's got to load the assembly. It's There's a bit of before and after, which takes into effect as well. So it's not just the actual hit play and then stop. So in total, 26 seconds on my 10900K for the dynamic simulation test. Uh, on a, for example, on a Ryzen 7 1700X, that took about 48 seconds, which uh, gives you a good idea of the of the poor IPC that we were getting on first generation Ryzen. But start the test again, and I've put an awful lot of work into this benchmark test to make sure that we get consistent results as best as possible from test to test. So I've done my best to make sure that the, the tests are pretty uh, consistent from 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 run to run so there you go 26 seconds pretty much bang on again and that's the dynamic simulation test my second test mate finite element analysis benchmark test not one either i have two in the first fea test as part of the tfi cad bench in mark suite is a parametric study using a 10 variation assembly so start test, an assembly is going to open up in the background, and then this is going to run 10 parametric study FEA analysis. So you'll be able to see this little component down here changing in size. So this is, I don't know if everyone watching this is familiar with what a parametric study is. It's kind of hidden away in Inventor, but you can change a variable within an assembly, whether that be a dimension or a material, for example. And then you can say, run the simulation with that dimension at 10 or 20 or 30, and it'll give you 10 results with that dimension at 10 different steps. And then you can see how setting that dimension or having that product at a different size impacts on the analysis. So you can see, right, what if we had that component down there? What if that was 60 mil instead of 30 mil? How does that impact on the FEA? Well, instead of doing it manually, you can run a parametric study and it'll give you 10 sets of results with that part of 10 different sizes. So that's what a parametric study is. And I've got that built in my benchmark test. So the test is to time how long it takes to run that study from start to finish. The results will flash up in a momento. You'll see the results go blue. And then that's the study finish. Roughly one minute-ish on my i9 10900K, 62.946 seconds. The second FEA test is a static study. It's tire pressure. So it's simulating the tire forces on an alloy wheel. That's what those little, yeah, quite big yellow arrows are. And then it's timing how long it takes for the simulation solver. I think, I've got, I think I've got it set to mesh the part first and then solve the study. So this is a simulation mesher and then a solver, which, yeah, it's... I've tried to incorporate as many things as I can to this to give us a real broad variety of, of tests. So 22.259 seconds on an i9 k So once that's done, down at the bottom, you've got three scores. Uh, we have, these don't mean anything right now from individual tests, but once all of the tests have run, you'll get your final INVMARC score. Then you've got two further scores, MT and ST. MT is a multi-threaded score. ST is a single-threaded score. So out of all of the tests that I have, I've explicitly designed the suite of tests to incorporate multiple modules of Inventor that are multi-threaded. So all of those tests will contribute towards your workstation's multi-threaded score. The rest of the tests, which are single-threaded, will give your workstation a single-threaded score, which is separate to the Invmark score. And I've designed this to be as clever and as safe and as foolproof as possible. So you can't just chuck a 64 thread thread ripper or a 64 core thread ripper at it and just blitz the test. Because 
a, a 64 core Threadripper will burn through the multi-threaded tests pretty well, but it's not the best CPU for Inventor overall. So if you were to run a 64 core Threadripper on this test, it'll get a high MT score, but it won't be the best at the Invmark score. And I've designed that very carefully to be the case. So yeah, once these scores are done, they'll then be uploaded to the leaderboard. We have an online leaderboard. It's not finished yet. It's not live, but you can see down here, we've got upload scores and get scores. So once you click upload your score, your Invmark, your MT and your ST scores will be uploaded to the leaderboard along with system specs, things like CPU, GPU, memory, uh, driver version, and then all of your individual scores as well. So I said that this score doesn't mean anything. That's just because it's just a beta interface, but all of the individual tests will be scored separately. So the FVA in the dynamic simulation test will be given their own modular scores. So you can go to the leaderboard and if you're looking for a workstation that's, that's good at FEA, you can filter the leaderboard for workstations that are high scoring at the FEA or dynamic simulation test. And then you'll be able to see those. Uh, we've got some things to iron out. Uh, as soon as I said upload system specs, some people would have immediately raced to the comments and be like, oh, what about GDPR? <laughs> yeah, I know we've got, a, I've got meetings this week to talk about that. I, I don't know yet. Um, it's probably going to have to be an optional thing. Uh, I've got to discuss all of this, whether we have logins or whether people just upload with a disclaimer, whether people put a, a nickname or a, a, a name next to it. I don't know. But one thing I do want to avoid is spam on the leaderboard. I don't want to have multiple workstations uh, with multiple scores. What I, mean, what I mean by that is I must have run this benchmark test several hundreds of times on my own workstation. I don't want my workstation posting several hundreds of scores on the leaderboard. I want one, the highest one. Um, so I want to try and avoid that. Whether we do that by IP address or system name or something, I don't know. But we need to somehow be able to do that and do it without breaching GDPR. Uh, regulations. So there's things like that, which I've still got to iron out. Those are the things on the to-do list as well as the interface and the website look and feel, whether we do logins, all that kind of stuff, but we're very close. We're very nearly there. I've still got to tune some of the tests. I think I might have one more test in my mind that I want to add in. I don't know yet. It depends how the developer feels about putting another test in. I don't know. He's got the patience of a saint. I can't throw new stuff at him. He's like, oh god, not another one. But um, oh, I'm so excited for this, mate. It's gonna be awesome. It's such. I'm just looking at. You can't see them because I blurred them out. I appreciate that, but I, I don't want to commit to to the list yet because it will change. And um, it's such a broad variety of tests, and it really it's it's everything that I would manually test invented if I was testing a workstation. I've left no stone unturned with this at all. And it, the, another thing I want to try and address on the leaderboard is some kind of meaningful, not a tag, but some kind of badge or, I, I don't know, something that tells you what the score means, you know? Because just... If the score was like a random number, 10,000, right? You see a score and it says 10,000. What does that mean? Does that mean it's good? Does that mean it's bad? I need to try and figure that out. Bear it, and I have to bear in mind as well that the goalposts move on a regular basis. On Inventor Bench, three years ago, a score of 10 was the best of the best. Now we're getting 18s and, and you know, a 10 is pretty poor. So I have to kind of... Uh, that's the thing, yeah. The, the, this is where the time's gone <laughs> over the last seven months. I've got anti-cheat mechanisms built into this as well. Uh, that, that's another place where the time's gone into. So, yeah, it's not... I'm trying to make it as impossible as I can to cheat on it. So that's all built in. Um, yeah, so there's, it, it's as thorough as I've possibly been able to make this. And I've got big plans for it in the future. So there you go. That's the TFI CAD bench and the first sneak peek of Invmark and two of its benchmarks. I'm, so, oh, I'm super excited. I really am super excited. It's it's still got a fair way to go before we're finished. 
Uh, I need to do some beta testing on it still. So probably some public beta testing that I might do with the guys in the Discord server. So if you want to join the Discord server, uh, you'll have to join the channel. J join buttons down below. Uh, it's the, the membership function for TFI. Those guys have already seen one of the other tests, a sneak preview, one of the other tests. So they're aware of this. But yeah, oh, I can't wait to get this out. So yeah, there's meetings happening this week. I think we'll be accelerating it even further after this week. So we're very close to this going live. So thank you very much. If this looks like something that you're interested in, let me know down below. Uh, if you've got any feedback, anything that you think would be useful, interested to hear what you've got to say down below. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.